Hello, my YouTube beauties. It's me again, Brenda. Today, we're just gonna have a little chatty chat while I get ready. Let me go ahead and get started. I've already went ahead and started out with my face done, so I have my Dermablend on, and I did my eyebrows, and my blush, and a little bit of highlight. I've already, um, I did use a lip scrub this morning because my lips were a little dry this morning, so I used a dip, a dip scrub. <laughs> A lip scrub and that's in this right here pina colada it's pretty good and it's just a tiny bit in this container but a tiny tiny bit does go a very long way and so my lips are nice and exfoliated now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this balm on my lips um, just to kind of keep them a little bit moisturized while I finish my makeup uh, I just kind of wanted to go over a few things with you guys and give you a little update on stuff that's been going on. So, I have my next facial skin peel. What do he call it? Chemical peel. Facial chemical skin peel? I don't know. But I have another appointment at the end of this month for my third skin peel. And it's supposed to be even more, like a more, like a deeper peel because um, I know I'm gonna probably have to ask off a couple of days because I will not go anywhere if my face is gonna be peeling because that's what happened this last time for a few days my face was just peeling and peeling and peeling so it was really a skin peel like for real so the stuff that they put on my face what it does it just dries up and gets all the outer layers of dead skin off and the skin peel, the that chemical peel is supposed to help with like fine rot, fine lines and wrinkles, but I'm using it to lighten up scars and old dark spots that I have and to smooth out the texture on my skin. So that's what they're using that for. For my eyebrows, I used this here that we just received, I believe in a boxy charm. It's the brown bar from Rena or Rima. Yeah, Brown Bar by Rima. So this is the very first time I've ever used anything from this line. And I've used quite a bit already because I've been using it almost every single day since I got it. My most very most favorite eyebrow product is the uh, Gerard Cosmetics Brows Bar to Go. That one I love, but I've finished it completely and I have not repurchased it because I have so many that other subscription boxes do send me, whether I'm subscribed to them and pay for my own box or whether they send it to me in PR. Um, so I keep on saying I'm gonna try out all these products, that way I could write my review for them. And then if I still decide I need the Gerard's Cosmetic Brow Bar to go, then I'll just repurchase that at a later time. But for right now, I'm not doing that. And for the setting powder that I used, I used this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I have like three of these and I have no idea why I have so many. But um, that's what I've been using to set like my under eye. And then for my bronzer, I use this uh, Park, Park Avenue Princess Tarte Palette, which I knew I loved it the moment I started using it. It smells like chocolate. It's beautiful. I mean, chisel like a diamond. That's what it says on the little mirror on the little mirror right here. And um, I had another brand new one like this, and I gave that to my oldest daughter. So uh, I hope she's enjoying that. And then for the highlight, I'm using this Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette, and. I'm using this one and this one, so both of these shades. So now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna use for my eyes. I think I'm gonna go something soft today. Well, I always say that and I'll never do that, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. So we received something yesterday or the day before yet? Yesterday, yeah. It's this palette that I will never use. I'm gonna have to give it away because it's just the, mm, I don't like the way that the pans are placed in this. It gives me like 
an arcing se sensation, an arky sensation. I don't know if that makes any sense because they're not straight. So I guess I do have a hint of OCD, whatever. Just pile that on. This is such a beautiful, beautiful, look how beautiful that is. It's on the front and the back. So I did get this um, eyeshadow palette from Slay Glam Box. And this is her beauty line, the Rasha B Cosmetics. And I have not used this because it is so beautiful. I was thinking of keeping this as a uh, to give to someone, but I'm really drawn to these shades. And I did want to make a really soft, like a nude soft look. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not. I don't know yet. I've tested her palettes out already. They have, they're very pretty. They're pretty good. They're a pretty good um, formula. So I know I'm going to be pleased with this as soon as I try it. If I decide to try it. I'm not sure yet. Because I, like I said, I have so many um, eyeshadow palettes. I want to give some away. And I don't necessarily want to give away stuff that I've swatched. These are kind of too bright. The shades are way too bright. This is the Be My Valentine sweet valentine from lurella i've never heard of that beauty brand before i don't think but this shade is very pretty i don't know you know what i'm gonna go with this palette because i'm gonna use this shade here it's very pretty look at that so that is this shade right here and i'm gonna use the tarte what is this clay play palette to um kind of put something down for those of you who do not know oh my gosh i went way too dark with that way too dark what was i thinking so i'm in this savings what is it called it's like a savings program it's not a savings program but it's kind of like something that a lot of hispanic families do to save money because i can't save worth a shit I just, I don't know what it is. And it's not that I'm an overspender. Well, Lord knows I do spend a lot of money. But, but it's because, you know, every time, any anytime someone needs help or needs something, immediately, immediately it gets, you know, taken out and used. There's so many people in this, in our lives that need help. Why, why can't we help them out? You know, we send, you know, we send money to well I guess that's something that's super personal but we do we help out as much as we can um, and so because of that I decided to join what we call a tanda t-a-n-d-a -A, tanda and what that is is you gather a lot of people as many as you can trustworthy people okay because this is money so you better be damn skippy I'm gonna make sure it's trustworthy people and all these people come together, um, not necessarily together, but you know, that's how I like to picture it. Not under contract or anything, but it's just, it's just really by pure, you know, it's really a big risk because anybody could back out at any time and I don't like the feeling of that. That's why when you do this, you have to have people that you really trust. What this is it's a group of people that save money and so let's say you have 10 people or let's let's make it 11 so we can make it an even number and i'll tell you what that means so you have you have let's say 10 11 people that want to save money those 11 people are going to come together and every week you're going to put a hundred dollars in a pot okay and so the people are numbered so i would be number one then let's say my sister would be number two and so on and so forth right on the first week on friday number one that would be our first friday um i'm number one so i will receive everybody's 100 dollars. so each person is going to give me 100 dollars. so that that makes it thousand dollars jesus i can't do math I would get a thousand dollars right because 10 people are gonna give me a hundred dollars and I don't have to put the hundred dollars that week because it's my week 
So the following week is number two. So let's say my sister's number two. So on that week, I would give her $100 and everybody else will give her $100. So you're in this, you're in this thing for a number of 11 weeks because there's 11 people on this list. And so that's how you save money. And usually I would love to get like the very last number because in reality, if you think about it, you've saved up all that money. And at the very end, like I would be number 11. Let's say I'm number 11 on that day. I don't have to give my hundred dollars, but I'm going to receive everybody's hundred dollars. So I'm going to get a thousand dollars that I actually saved for those 11 weeks. You see, and so I always used to love getting the very last number because to me that says I've been putting in the bank. I've been putting in the bank. I've been putting in the bank and finally it's my turn and I get to take it out. And so otherwise, like if I do it on the very first number, like if I'm number one, I'm going to get all that money that day. But then I have to pay back $100 every week for 11 weeks. So I always did like getting the very last number. But because this group had already gotten started, um, since that group had already gotten started, you really don't get to pick your number. So what they've been doing is they had 15 people that were in this thing, in this tanda. They had 15 people. And so you're receiving $1,400 when it's your turn. So I was like number eight, the very first round that I did it. And so on the eighth week, I received $1,400. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was $1,400. But, and then, so we were in this because there was 15 of us. We were in this for 15 weeks. So now, this round that's about to start this Friday, next Friday, this round that's about to start, it's going to be 18, it's going to be 18 people. So we're going to be receiving $1,700 each. So, and this time around, I'm week number six. So the first person is gonna get $1,700 next week. Then person number two is gonna get the $1,700 because there's 18 people. So on, so the day that, that you get your money, you don't put in your $100. Does that make sense? So anyways, and this time around, I'm number six. On the sixth week, I will get $1,700 and then I have to keep on paying the $100 weekly up until the 18th week so i know it doesn't some people are like well why can't you just save your own money well because i have a lot of family that always has needs and i have i have a very i'm not a responsible person when it comes with when it comes to money because i always think if something is needed just get it or if you want something and it's and you really want it that badly and you have the money there and then just get it i've never been in the mindset save 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 like i know i should save but i have student loans i have children i have children in school i have you know so there's we have a thousand cars all together and some car always needs something things break here at our house all the time like we just had to get a new refrigerator and you know, so there's always things that go wrong immediately. And so by the time you've put in something in your nest, you're already having to take it out. So it's really difficult to keep a nice savings. Like I was always really good at saving money a while back. Really good at it. I was very good at it. But all that's gone. I think that when the kids get older, the expenses are so much more bigger, you know? So... <sighs> that's why I'm in that group I don't know have y'all ever heard of anything like that and so I ran one of those I ran a tanda at one point and um I had I think uh the bigger the biggest our group got was to 11 people because people wanted to join our group but it wasn't people that I knew so I didn't trust you know I didn't trust my money going and it's really easy because on the day, for instance, when I paid my $100 or when I gave them my $100 this past week, all I do is zell it from my bank to their bank account. That way they have the money immediately. 
And so really nobody's seeing or looking at cash and you're not having to drive places to pick up money and stuff. So I did run a group for a while, but several of my people that were in my group, they weren't like internet friendly, savvy or anything like that. So they had to do cash and I was having to drive far away. And yeah, I just ended up, you know, I was like, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. So once that last round ended and they were like, well, we, we want to still do it. And I was like, well, y'all could keep on going. Y'all could start one yourselves. So I'm not doing it anymore because <laughs> it was a lot of work. It really was. And I didn't mind it for a little while because, you know, it's a nice way to save money. But at the same time, it got frustrating with those people, you know, that I had to drive really far to find them to get them to give me their money or whatever. Um, maybe it was also my my fault because I wasn't like strict about it. I wasn't like, you have to drive and bring me the money or, you know, I, I never did that. So had I done that, maybe it would have lasted a lot longer. But anyways, so that is what that program is. And let me know if you've ever heard of anything else like this. Other than that, right now, Crunch was throwing up yesterday. So my, my dog Crunch, he is a St. Bernard mix. He was, um, he was used to being an outside dog for most of his, for all of his life. But he always came in to sleep and, you know, he got to spend some time inside a couple of days a week, like not all day, but just a couple of days during the week. But we just had our oldest pup that passed away not too long ago, Buddy. I'll insert a picture here. He passed away. He was 17 years old, guys. 17. Do you know how old that is in dog years? Especially for a big dog his size. So, according to their size is however many years they age. Human years. So, for a small puppy, for a small dog, like a little chihuahua, full grown, their, their age is like one year is seven years for them. But for a bigger dog, the size that Buddy was, Buddy was ginormous. He was like over a hundred pounds. Um, he was like a lab mix. He had the most beautiful eyes, blue eyes. For a pup that, you know, how huge he was, one year for that pup was actually almost 15 years. So one human year for him would have been 15 years. I guess they age a lot faster when they're bigger. I, I really don't understand the science behind that. But so he was actually 17 human years old. Can you just, I mean, think 17 human years times 15, you know? So that was, he was old. He was old and even the vet was kind of impressed last time that she had seen him because he was pretty he was in pretty good health he was still moving around you know he didn't have any diseases or anything like that he didn't have any broken bones or anything and so it was kind of impressive crunch which is the saint bernard he's also a very big pup he's actually 90 something pounds right now because he did lose a little bit of weight when buddy passed and he kind of was moping around a whole whole lot and I was so scared that he was going to get sick because he looked like he he looked like he was depressed. Like he was in, in, a dis, in a depression mode, you know. He really did look like he was going through depression because he's a really hyper dog. And he was not hyper at all. Like he would barely eat when Buddy passed away. He would just lay around and mope. So on that second day, I noticed that he'd gotten even worse you know he he was just kind of looking at me when i walk into a room and he sees me he is jumping up and down as big as he is and as you know as old as he is he was jumping up and down with joy he was happy to see me he loved me he just loved me and when buddy passed away he stopped doing that 
And on that second day after Buddy passed away, I was so scared that something would happen to him that I took him to the vet. I was like, I want to get him checked. You know, when I went there, I told her what had happened with Buddy and he had passed away and everything. And she says, yeah, he's probably going into, he probably has depression right now. But he, she says, and it's not uncommon. She's especially in older dogs. And um, he's, she told me he's considered a senior already. He's only seven years old, but he's already considered a senior. He acts, he does not act like a senior when he's in a good mood. So my husband drives a Jeep Wrangler and it's like way up because he's got it like lifted and the tires are like ginormous. And I have a hard time getting onto his Wrangler because it's way up high. This big ass dog can jump and get onto i mean he's huge anyway so that'll tell you that he's got good energy that he's a happy dog you know and so when that was happening and he was being so sad i was so scared i took him to the vet and she was like you know let's let's just watch him for a while watch his diet because i told she was he was already losing weight and uh he should be fine i think he gave her he the vet gave him like an injection i don't know if it was like vitamins or what it was then he still and and he also got his like yearly physical rabies and stuff injection and then she put him on a different medicine for heartworm preventative because he doesn't have heartworms or anything like that but it's a preventative medication and it's also, um, it also has medicine in it for like fleas and ticks and stuff like that to repel them off of them. So it's a little tablet. It's like a chalky tablet that he has to eat. And like he took that and he went to the vet and everything. And for like two more days, he was like so sad, super sad. He was just moping around and I called and she was like, well, you need to take him to like a doggy day camp or you need to take him in for, you need to take him in for, um, you know, for a grooming so he can be pampered. So I got him like this, my, I have a cousin that works at PetSmart and he can get us like really cool. By the way, Edgar, if you're watching this, I love you, man. Thank you so, so much. Made such a big difference. Everything that you did for crunch. So my cousin like helped us get this huge just beautiful big orthopedic mattress for him so he sleep, sleeps in a very nice mattress now that we got for him which really did make a big difference sometimes we catch him sleeping on the regular floor i think it's just because that's more that's more what he's used to but um with his blankie but he loves that orthopedic mattress and yesterday my husband was telling us telling me we need to get him a different mattress because that mattress is way too big it's almost as big as our bed and you know and i was like quit hating on crunch <laughs> so yeah and he's just been pampered and he's gotten to go get massages he's gone to go and get bougie salon you know where he stays all day long and stuff and they pamper him and so He's doing so much better. Like he's getting used to being here in the house. We don't let him stay outside all day anymore because Buddy's not there anymore anyway. So why would we make him stay outside by himself? And so he stays in all day long. He's such a good dog. He doesn't use the restroom or have any accidents in the house. He does really, really well. And he is not one of those loud barking dogs. You know, he doesn't bark or anything unless you're outside. And so I've been walking him almost every single day. Okay, let me, I know. I just lied to you. But a few days ago, like we walked and we really walked. Like I had so much energy that day. My back was feeling good. My knees were feeling good. I didn't have any issues with my back. So we took a really long walk, a really good long walk. My poor baby, he was like, walking so slowly at the end when we were getting to the house he was walking really slowly because he was so tired and the next day i woke up and my my bones and my uh, knees were swollen just swollen and so i mean that tells me i need to get my ass back out there and exercise more lose some of this weight that i gained because 2019 y'all i gained 29 for ricking pounds 29 pounds i gained in 2019 and i have yet 
to have shed any of that. So I am going to be working on that as well. Hopefully I could talk about it here with you guys. And I'm sure you could tell like my right now my face isn't as swollen because like I said, I've, I have been walking a whole lot, but the scale doesn't lie. Okay. So I know that I've been retaining a ton of water. So I've been drinking a ton of water to hopefully make some of that clear out. And, you know, we, if you're my age, you kind of already know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So uh, I need to quit eating as much because I do cook a lot and uh, I don't eat a lot, but I do eat the not so healthy foods. You see what I'm saying? So if I didn't, if I ate the same way that I eat now, but they were healthy foods, I would be good. I know I would be good. I just, I need to do it. I need to do it, you guys. I know, I know. I said I was going to go soft and neutral and look what happened. All of that was from this palette that I said, Sweet Valentine palette from Lorella. I have no freaking idea where I got this palette. If you remember and I unboxed this on my channel let me know because i forgot where i got this palette from but this came in um this came in and i don't know what palette i got it from because you know what guys i kind of completely stopped purchasing makeup like i used to go to sephora and to ulta at least two to five times every month not gonna say i always purchase stuff because there was and i was really excited about that i was i was kind of proud of myself for that that i would walk in check everything out see what was there see what was new and leave a few times i would just walk in just to grab their paper or something because i didn't get it that month because i always get papers from them every month that their catalog or whatever and i would walk in just for that and then i would walk out i am gonna use I'm gonna use this mascara, Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. I'm gonna use that for today. And I'm not, I don't know if I should do a liner or not. I'm gonna do lashes, so I will do a liner. Let me do my eyeliner first. And for eyeliner, I'll use the Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. Y'all, it's so sad what's happening to this woman. I don't know why. I don't want to get into that because that involves politics also and everything with Kat Von D. She was doing so well and then like she what did she lose her beauty line? Did she lose or sell it or what did she do? Because this is what it looks like. It's kind of a slanted. Do you see the tip? It's kind of slanted. I thought she was doing awesome and then she goes off talking about how she's never gonna vaccinate her baby or whatever what i say is look you do you but if in the process you're messing with my child's health then there's gonna be some consequences and repercussions what are your thoughts on all of that let me know i'm sorry y'all i have to be quiet when i do my eyeliner i don't like wearing lashes because they always make my eyes water and i've tried different eyelash glue because there's a couple of you that have actually uh recommended for me to use a different eyelash glue because i've mentioned it before how they make my eyes water so much and i went and i bought what y'all recommended and my i mean it was the same thing the same watery eye with the eyelash glue that y'all recommended ah! i missed it up you see how this one is more round and this one is more pointy i hate that the birds are so mad y'all okay so it's kind of cold outside so i didn't want to take the birds outside if it's a beautiful day i will take them outside so what i do okay if you didn't know where i film this room is actually my living room so it freaking sucks because there's five of us that live in this house and so people are always coming in and out and the door is right there. So coming in and out, you can hear folks, you can hear the cars blaring because we have a ton of crazy people here that don't know how to drive and blare their cars whenever they drive down. The <laughs> anyway, 
sound like a freaking tractor or something. And so the birds, I always take them outside when it's a pretty day or I'll stick them in the kitchen or I'll put them in one of the rooms. Well, one of my daughters is very allergic to almost everything in the world. So I won't put the birds in their room. My son will not have it. So I end up putting them either in the hallway, which is still pretty loud, so you could still hear them in the videos, or I stick them inside our bedroom and I could still hear them. So there's not, unless I stick them in the attic or something crazy, <laughs> there's not much, there's not very many places where I could go stick them where it won't be as loud. So I'll do the mascara now. So my beauty room ends up being my living room. And I'm glad that we don't get a lot of company because, yeah, it is kind of weird when you walk in. It's like Brenda's beauty room. <laughs> you see, they are so loud and they're in my room behind closed doors. I want to try the ColourPop uh, eyeliners, the ones with the really shocking like bright blue and green and yellow. I want to try it, but like I said, I don't want to splurge right now because it's expensive, y'all. It's expensive. I have so many lashes because my daughter that my daughter that would wear lashes is not here anymore, so I don't give them away anymore like I used to. So I need to start wearing my lashes again. I upgraded my watch finally. I don't know why I can't seem to find a good face watch. So I had, I've been using Apple Watch since they came out. So I used an Apple Watch for straight up like four years. And then my husband bought me this watch that I've been wanting for so long. I've been wanting this uh, fossil watch this gold beautiful i'm sure you've seen it before in my videos because that's the only watch that i would wear this past entire 2019 that's all i would wear and so when i went to put on my apple watch the other day i uh charged it and everything and i went to go put it on it would not like sync with my phone anymore and i was like well, what the heck you know why isn't it syncing with my phone well it's because it's outdated so it no longer syncs kind of like the iphone what is it the five or the four it no longer has can get updates which is how they get you to buy new ones so yeah i ended up having to go and update my watch and while i was up there ended up grabbing and upgrading my new phone so i now have the iphone 11 which i still don't see a difference it's the same as a 10. Okay, so I have these Zola lashes. I do wanna try these, but they might be a little too dramatic. They're very long. Then I have these here. I don't remember where I got these. I think I'm gonna try these. They're very wispy, you see that? Very, very wispy. Um, I've already used those in the past, so I don't know if maybe these here that have more chunks Then I have these from BH Cosmetics. My phone just stopped recording and said that my video was too long. So um, I don't know what that was about because that never used to happen with my old iPhone 10. But they're, you know, they're shorter, but they're like thick. They just look thick. I don't really like thick looking lashes. I like them to look fluttery and wispy. Then I have these. Y'all are gonna say I'm crazy, but these look bare. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look they don't look thick but they look too thin <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know i don't know then there's these that no i think i would like put these on my little niece or something to play with and then i have these other nice wispy ones that kind of have the edge a little bit longer and this shorter that go in the inner corner so i like these i might try these today the band looks really thick though. I always have a freaking excuse. I think I'm gonna give these a try. My daughter needs a new phone, y'all. 
she needs a new phone and I kind of feel guilty that I got a new phone without getting her a new phone first but but let me tell you I purchased a very expensive phone for her and she threw it in a lake of course she didn't do it on purpose but you know it was really expensive to get didn't last her long and when she went fishing she let that sucker drop in the lake so it's been a couple of years now and I just have not repurchased so what ended up happening is a few years ago or a year ago it's been more than a year I know that um, my I lost my phone so I had a iPhone 10 and I lost it and I knew where I lost it. Nobody stole it. It was my fault. I left it on um, on top of the gas the gas pump at a gas station. I don't know why the hell I did that, but I did, and I was devastated because that was my first and only phone I ever lost. And so immediately I called the gas station. I was like, "Look, if you could reach me at this number, if anybody turns it in, which you know you're like they're never gonna turn in an iPhone 10." And um, and I gave them the information and everything, and they were like, yeah, I mean, I, it was so bad, I almost cried. And so, I ended up calling, um, you because know, it had insurance, so I ended up calling the insurance on it, and like two or three days later, I got a brand new phone. And so, I had a, another brand new iPhone 10. So... I went back to that gas station like a week later and you know just out of curiosity and it wasn't even the same guy I was like has anyone turned in a phone because I left my phone here on top of your gas pump and when I came back it was gone and nobody turned it in and I called and I I called and I even left my information so in case somebody did turn it in y'all could give me a ring and not come and pick it up and he was like oh he says so is this your phone and then he, it was still like working it was still charged and he shows it to me and it was still my iphone 10 and so i was like yes that's my phone and he's like oh he's like can you um so i unlocked it and i showed him it was my phone my pictures everything he was like okay great you know i was like thank you so much thank you so much so what i ended up doing is I left it in my car for like a week or two and it was turned off and then I remembered and I took the time to call the insurance people and tell them that I'd found the phone what did I need to do return it or what and the lady that was on the phone was like no really that phone is now a dud it's not gonna work um, they're not gonna be able to unlock it for you so the purpose of them locking it is in case you're still paying on it you'll finish paying on that phone and so that's why they it was locked and when you reported it that's why they lock it and so when you report it lost or stolen immediately those phones get locked where nobody can use them you can still use the wi-fi on it but nobody else can use the phone and so i was like okay but i said my phone is already paid off and she's like i know but we've already sent you a new one she said well she says you can just use it as an ipod because you can use it as just with wi-fi and she was kind of telling me what i already knew you know you could use you could use um texting you could use iMessage, things like that but you just won't be able to turn it on again i was like oh, okay so i gave that phone to my daughter and that's what she's been using ever since then and so she doesn't have a phone line and she does really need a phone line because at first I was like, well, no, she doesn't do any extracurricular activities. She doesn't have soccer. She doesn't have all these other things that the other kids had. So she, there's no purpose for her having a new phone. There's no reason. She didn't need one. But now with her having school and they actually at school, and I know that they do this because I've had a conversation with the teachers. What about those kids that do not have cell phones? Because not every single kid has a cell phone. Almost every single one does, but not all of them do. She's like, well, for those kids, they can go to the library, they can. I was like, but how are you gonna sit in the classroom, in the front of the classroom, give an assignment, and basically say, 
take out your cell phones, you know, and I said, you don't think that makes the kids that don't have a cell phone feel bad, you know, and I mean, I've been through this already with the schools and anyway, that's just a whole nother story. And so, um, I know that she needs a cell phone that actually has a phone line, you know, and it's not fair that she doesn't have one. I don't think because all the other kids at her age already had theirs, even if it was like a little cheap phone, but they had a phone line. So I really do need to get her a phone and I do feel bad that she doesn't have a phone um, because she does do a whole lot for me. Like she is always up and about with me, even though she's obnoxious sometimes, but she is my favorite kid out of all of them. Yes, I said it. I don't care what anybody says. That girl loves me. She can be a little shit monster. She can be a little shit monster, but she loves me. You're not taking me? It's for your taxes, dude. No, it's not mine or done. He's not going to take me to go get his taxes fixed. Thank you. Don't take me. Because I said Elena is my favorite daughter. He's my favorite son. You know you're my favorite son. I could do that, right? I know, you buy him brand new shoes, you buy me shit. That wasn't for me, that was for the house. Oh, he, he bought groceries yesterday, he really did. That's why you're my favorite son. Yeah, you see, I am his favorite mom. So I'm using the Tardius Pro Adhesive for Blashes. This one works a whole lot better. You know what though? I have used the, what is it called? It's like the stuff you use to put on uh, fake hair. I have used that before for eyelashes and I think it works really well. I don't know that it's safe to wear near your eyeball, but um, a lot of people use that and it really does work. I wanted to see if I can get I wanted to see if I can go get my glasses because my eyes are so bad, y'all. Seriously. Oh my, another thing about turning 40. Oh my God, I have to go get a freaking mammogram. So I went to my doctor for my physical. And yeah, I am not looking forward to having something squeezing my boobs. And not in a good way, if you know what I mean. Gonna squeeze my boobs. Are you gonna take me to lunch? Yeah, the doctor said that at 40, it's recommended to have a mammogram. So I was like, there's no cancer in any side of the family. Like, I know. But you have to get it done. I was like, shit. just gonna let that sit there for a minute all right so that's what they look like right now see this one's already freaking watering already not even five minutes already watering Ugh. and that is just gonna bother me all day long i know it is you know what i feel like eating Joe's Crab Shack. I feel like eating some crab legs. We have food here at the house tonight. I'm gonna be cooking. Are we cooking steak tonight, Chapu? Tonight. The steaks that you bought yesterday? That's what I'm saying, tonight. Nice. I. I have no dinero. I wish I had dinero. All my kids think that I'm rich, y'all.
who are your favorite YouTubers? I have a, a couple favorites. So I love Alexandria Ryan. I love Just Anne. She is fucking funny as hell. That girl has me laughing so hard whenever, like whenever she says, it's big y'all. And then she kind of does a, that look <laughs> like this girl's fucking crazy. <laughs> She's so freaking hysterical. I love her. She was actually helping me out the other day because I'm like, there's really, what can I do? Because I don't see my numbers growing like I get one or two hundred extra, like one or two hundred subscribers all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden they're gone again. So I'm like, what the hell? What am I doing wrong? And she's like, everybody's numbers are going low. Everybody's views are going low. She was telling me, but she did give me some pointers on some things to do on my channel that'll help. Hopefully um, it will, because it would be nice um so that i can send y'all some more stuff you know because any money that i make on here definitely goes back towards you guys to buy extra boxes or to pay for my sh for the shipping y'all i am messing this up so bad i just keep making the eyeliner thicker and thicker yeah, and she was telling me how when she started her channel, nobody helped her out. I was like, girl, I know. Nobody helped me out. But then again, I didn't ask for any help. Because I was just, you know, this is my hobby. I love doing this. Let's do this. Okay, I like the way they look. How does this look, y'all? Now let me do my lips. So for lips... I don't know. I wanted to go soft, but I done, I done did this. So for lips, I have these two Tyra lippies that I love. These are very nice lippies. This one is the Tyra. These are the Tyra lips from Baby Got on. Tyra lips that are baby got matte. This one is cashmere and this one is velvet. So I think I'm just gonna mix these two. I really, really love these lippies. But I gotta give my other lipstick some love. That's why I end up Let me see which one matches. I think this one matches better. My mom used to hate it when I would overline my lips. She used to hate it. She doesn't say anything anymore. Guess she had to get used to it when she seen me. I love these lippies. So that's the velvet one. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the middle. To kind of give it that ombre look. Okay. That's it. Alright, I just need to put on some setting spray, which I rarely do that. I rarely put on setting spray anymore. Just because I haven't really had the need to. And, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some on today. So I'm using the Tarte Duty, <laughs> Tarte Duty, <laughs> Tarte Double Duty Beauty. <laughs> it has such a fine mister. And that's everything guys. I'm gonna pop on some earrings. Oh, let me show y'all my earrings. I gotta show y'all my earrings. I've mentioned this a thousand times, you guys, but 
I do not film every subscription box that I get because there's just no way. So I do receive this subscription called Ear Fleek. Um, it comes in a little box, like in a little bag like this. And then it comes in this. And they always send it like in a little package. I got the cutest, cutest, cutest earrings. Look how cute this is. Isn't that just adorable, the little egg? And <laughs> I've been wearing these <laughs> for like three days straight. I love them. I love them so much. My daughter was like, Mom, you need to find a bacon so you can wear an egg and bacon. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm going to look for that, definitely. That would look so cute. So that's this completes this video, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know my hair looks a hot mess and I have not cleaned off the makeup off my hairline but I will do that in just a minute and I do that easily I just use a little rag and I just go through there like this and wipe it off and kind of wipe it off the edge I don't get too much makeup in my hair but you can see it and sometimes it'll give it like a white cast almost and it almost looks like you're growing in white hair so yeah that's everything let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share the video with anyone you think might enjoy it i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for spending time with me goodbye